Hi everyone, Rob Dawson here at Stevenson University and we're here with the head women's basketball coach, Jackie Boswell. And coach, good to be with you again. Good morning, good to be with you. All right, and definitely we take a look at this uh, schedule here. Uh, not as many games played as men's basketball, but still about a fifth of the schedule done already in the blink of an eye, it seems. I know, it's crazy how it goes by so fast. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we take a look at uh, the team sitting at this point, three and two. Um, look very impressive in the wins. Um, struggled in the losses. Uh, just talk a little bit about uh, what you've liked and disliked about the team so far. Well, I like how we're bouncing back from a lot of things. Um, even uh, in the Randolph-Macon loss, we talked a lot about rebounding. And then against Salisbury, we came out and rebounded pretty well. Just um, then our defense slipped a little bit. So it's still a learning process. I think that the team is still learning how to work together. And again, staying focused on what we want to do that's strong, and that's the defense. And I think that was the biggest factor in the Salisbury loss. Um, but very happy with the way that we bounced back. Virginia Wesley in another quality out-of-conference game for us. And we're able to really just dominate that game. Yeah, and we, we talked with Sarah Tarber after the game, uh, and uh, she has been uh, quite something to see uh, with this team in the short time that she's been here. But I think another thing uh, you've talked about before uh, was about the her, her excitement of being here. Um, you alluded to it a little bit in our pregame interview about how you were able, the journey of, of getting her to come here. Uh, just talk a little bit more about that, and now you've seen five games and like I said before, is she smiling mm -hmm. <laughs> from ear to ear? As she just seems to be having a lot of fun. Well, again, we're really glad that she's happy. Um, I, I think one of the biggest things was she wanted to be able to major in nursing, um, and we know how tough that is to do at a Division One level. And uh, I think she's just all around, you know, getting what she needs to get out of college. And so that's making her happy, which of course is making her happy on the court and making everybody else around her better, um, and being able to produce for us. Um, so she's doing a great job, and now she's starting to communicate a lot more, starting to, um, that nat natural leadership is starting to show, and so we're pretty excited about that. Um, and another thing we talked about uh, a couple weeks ago was difference of roles mm -hmm. uh, on the team, and a lot of players are, uh, you may be seeing them later in the game, different parts of the game. Mm -hmm. um, two weeks in, how is that going? I, I think it's going great. Um, you know, everybody's still accepting their role, and, and I think we're still all on the same page, that we want to win a national championship, and I think that they trust that we're going to do whatever it takes to do that. And, uh, you know, I'm, again, I'm really proud of them, and I think that shows a lot of toughness. I think it's really hard to do 17 players, and, you know, really, let's let's face it, 11 of them are role players right now. Um, so that's tough. Uh, but, you know, every time we've asked them to do something, we're, we're pleased with the outcome. Um, now, you played in a uh, tournament with at Randolph-Macon uh, last week uh, over the weekend. Uh, two games back-to-back, -back and um, Randolph-Macon came up short in the end, and that was the one where uh, Dave Trumbo and I were talking after the Washington game, and he said, note that game on the schedule because they at that point they were getting uh, votes in, in D3Hoops.com and the rankings, and that will give a little bit of a measuring stick to see. It came up a little bit short. What did you notice late in that game or throughout the game that uh, maybe you could finish off a team like that the next time? Well, I think a couple things that that weekend did for us is, you know, we needed to get some experience playing back-to-back -back games in quality teams because that's the way the NCAA is going to be. So we're hoping that that gives us that experience later on and we can look back and capitalize off of that. Ty gets hurt 10 minutes to go in that game lose by five I think it's tough when you lose your point guard and not being able to play in the last 10 minutes and definitely not be able to play the style that we want to play um, but you know it's on their court and again that's some adversity that we are going to have to face later down the road and I think that that'll give us that experience later so I think all in all that was a great weekend um, going back to Ty Bender, because uh, we mentioned this in the post game uh, after the Virginia Wesleyan game, uh, and uh, her pretty much the moment that she stepped on here, she seemed to assume control. Just talk a little bit about the st the story of her, because you know in our pre games we've talked a little bit more about game X's and O's, but uh, just talk about her meeting her, getting her to transfer here. Well, it was kind of funny because the story really goes that um, our assistant coach went out to her team to get a post player off of their team. And he calls me up right away and he says, no, I have a point guard for you. And I was like, well, do we need a point guard? He's like, no, I'm telling you, you, you got to come out and look <laughs> at this kid. So it literally, uh, I go out with him a week later. Um, he drops me off in front of the gym 
by the time he parks the car and comes in, I'm like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta get this kid. Um, I think again, her stepping on really allows Kayla Kelly uh, to shine in her natural role, which is really the two spot and being able to slash and get to the basket. So Ty has made an impact from the beginning. She's definitely my style of point guard. Um, one of the reasons we recruited Imani Sanders, the freshman, she reminds me a lot of Ty. Um, so that's very exciting, I think, because we convinced Imani to come here and play under Ty every day in practice for a year. And we think she's going to be uh, just as good, if not better. And we get her for four years as opposed to just having Ty for two. That would be my only regret is only having Ty for two years. But she's such a great kid and has really come in and fit in and, and made an impact right away. And everybody likes her. And, you know, she's just great for our team. And, uh, Coach, uh, we talk about, uh, as well, we, we talked about Ty, but uh, she and uh, a lot of other players have played well in these wins. These wins have been particularly impressive, especially the two that we've broadcasted uh, so far. One thing that seems to be different from last year, and I know it's a whole lot about how you finish these games, but the starting uh, on the offensive end, something that sometimes plagued you guys uh, going through scoring drafts, especially in the beginning of the game, mm -hmm. uh, a lot different this year, it's Teams. Yeah, I think it's a lot different. Um, you know, we've really bought into the transition. It's not new. It's just something that now we feel really comfortable with. They have a lot of confidence in it. So we want to run. And um, I also think that our inside-outside game looks a whole lot better. You know, we get the ball inside, and then we hit our shooters on the outside. I thought Kier Harmon did a great job yesterday of getting the ball inside, drawing some defenders, kicking it out to Kaylee Guzak, who really is a, a, a spot-on shooter from that spot out there. So um, – they're just starting to believe in each other so much more. Not that they didn't last year, but it was still, you know, a little bit hesitating. And I, I don't feel like we're hesitating now on the offensive end. And I think that makes a huge difference. Um, you have a few days in between games, and uh, that doesn't always happen in the uh, right. schedule. Uh, what are you looking forward to over these next several games? There's only one game uh, by the time we talk next. Uh, just talk about what you think about working on. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad the bye week came for us this week uh, our kids have exams next week obviously and and you know we have some of the top students on our team as well and so that's a big focus for them so we're going to spend a lot of time this week just trying to um, look at our film of ourselves and see what it is that we're doing well and see what else we can do um, that we need to work on and I think this is a great time of the year because not all the time do you have that you know anal being able to sit down and analyze all of that together so um, we're going to use that this week to do that One opponent uh, this week is Arcadia, um, a team that uh, struggled last year, but you think back to that first meeting last year, they were right with you uh, through the first half, and uh, a lot of young players have played a lot of minutes, it seemed, last year. Uh, what, what have you seen? Well, you know, they have a new coach this year as well, and um, so I'm sure their whole style is going to be different, um, but like you said, they really didn't lose anybody, and they played a lot of young kids, so that means they're now, now they're coming up as an older kid with a lot of experience so we have to be ready to go I mean their place is a tough place to play I think and um, you know we're obviously totally respectful of their program and everything that they've been able to do and the kids that have been able to stay there and, and do well so um, we have our work cut out for us definitely but hopefully we'll be prepared and use that week to do that all right well coach thank you very much thank you all right and that is head coach jackie boswell and be sure to tune in to sfmsports.net all season long and tune into that website too for the latest schedules and everything you need to know about stevenson women's basketball